Inclusive development, our second priority. Agriculture, the procurement of wheat in Rabi 21-22 and the estimated procurement of paddy in Kharif 21-22 will cover 1,208 lakh metric tons of wheat and paddy from 163 lakh farmers. This year, which is 2022, is when the doubling of farmers' income was supposed to have happened. But the budget 2022-23 presented on February 1st maintains complete silence on that target or on how much we have achieved in the last six years since that promise was first made. It was the first time in six years that the budget speech skipped mentioning doubling of farmers' income altogether. According to the government's own statistics, the monthly income of farmers in 2015-16 was Rs 8,059. This was to be doubled by 2022. Now, according to the Situation Assessment Survey of Agricultural Households, which came in 2021, a farming household's monthly income was Rs 10,218, which is quite far from the target announced for 2022. And the silence on this issue in this year's budget seems to suggest that the government is nowhere close to achieving this. This was the sixth year of doubling of farmers' income in six years. The previous five budgets had long poems about doubling of farmers' income. And this year, when it was about accounting those six years, complete silence. Now coming to the budgetary allocation for the farm sector, the allocation has increased by only about 4.4% compared to the expenditure on the sector in the last financial year. There was a marginal increase of Rs 5700 crore in this year's budget compared to the revised estimates of last year. But what is worrying is that schemes that facilitate minimum support price, especially for pulses and oil seeds, saw huge budgetary cuts. PM Asha got an allocation of just Rs 1 crore against Rs 400 crore spent on it in financial year 2021-22. This is an almost 100% reduction. Similarly, MIS PSS was allocated Rs 1500 crore, 62% less than Rs 4000 crore in revised estimates of financial year 2021-22. Both PM Asha and MIS PSS ensure MSP operations in the country. This reduction in allocation is contrary to demand for MSP by farmers, especially in the just concluded farmers agitation for the three farm laws. The budget was characterized by silence. Agriculture Investment Fund, 1 lakh crore rupees, huge declarations for the last two years. No accounting this year because only 2,600 crore have been spent. Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana, number of farmers coverage has reduced. How to increase it? Silence. Prime Minister Samman and Nidhi, which because of inflation has gone down by 15% in real terms. <laughs> Silence. Manrega, 15,000 crore rupees of deficit as of today for the states. Silence. Crop insurance is particularly important because of adverse weather from climate change and this too has seen a reduction. Funds allocated for Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana have fallen from Rs 15,989 crore to 15,500 crore at a time when crop loss has been increasing. Other schemes like Agriculture Infrastructure Fund or AIF has seen a marginal increase from Rs 200 crore in 2021-22 revised estimates to Rs 500 crore in 2022-23. However, this AIF, which was announced as a Rs 1 lakh crore fund in 2020 as part of the government's Atmanirbhar package, has been a non-starter till now. Only Rs 6,627 crore worth projects have been sanctioned until now after two years and the actual dispersals are much lower at only Rs 2,654 crore. One bright spot in the agriculture budget is the focus on the Rashtri Krishi Vikas Yojana that has been losing its sheen in the last few years. The program has been restructured to include schemes like Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana, Paramparagat Krishi Vikas Yojana, National Project on Soil and Health Fertility, Rainfed Area Development and Climate Change, Submission on Agriculture Mechanization including Management of Crop Residue. These schemes were earlier a part of the Green Revolution program. 
I think which is very um, uh, interesting and, and encouraging is the the 400% increase in RKB by allocation this year. It's a scheme from 2007 and 8, and uh, since the time this government has come in, the allocations under the scheme have been reducing. And uh, this year, uh, it's it's an exceptional increase in the allocation. And uh, basically, what is important about this uh, scheme is that it gives greater autonomy to the state governments to decide how and where they wish to prioritize and distribute the funds under this scheme. So we are using. Um, so we think it's a good opportunity that uh, central government has uh, um, given to state governments, and it's a welcome step. Allocation under PM Kisan, which provides income support by way of cash benefits to landholding farmers, has also increased marginally to Rs 68,000 crore from Rs 67,500 crore last year. Overall, the farm sector has very little to share in this year's union budget.